14 lines from love letters or suicide notes. Number one, don't freak out. Number two, we both know this has been coming for a long time. Number three, I've been staying awake at night, wondering if I should tell you. Number four, I bought the kind of crackers that you can eat. They are in the hall cupboard. Number five, now that we have watched all the episodes of True Blood, I do not know what else to do next. Number six, I always imagined this would happen without warning, like suddenly on an ocean cliffside. But this is the kind of thing where waiting for the time to be right would just mean waiting forever. Number seven, I've just been too afraid for too long. Number eight, I came home on Tuesday and found all the chairs that I own stacked in a tower in the center of my kitchen. I do not know how long they had been like that, but it could only be me that did it. It's the kind of thing a ghost might do to prove to the living that he is still there. I am haunting my own apartment. Number nine. My grandmother was still alive when I was five years old, and she asked me to check and see if the iron was hot enough yet. So I pressed my hand against it, and it was red and screaming for hours. Twenty-five years later, she would still sometimes apologize. In the middle of conversations, I feel so bad about making you touch the iron, she'd say, as though it had just happened. I cannot imagine how we forgive ourselves for all the things we didn't say until it was too late. But how else do you tell if something is hot but to touch it? Number 10. I keep imagining my furniture in your apartment. Number 11. I wonder how many likes this will get on Facebook. Number 12, my dad always used to tell the same joke, but I can't remember the punchline. Number 13, I was eight years old, and it took three weeks, three eight-year-old weeks, imagine, to gather everything that I would need to be Batman. Rope, boomerang, a Mardi Gras mask with the beads cut off. I couldn't find a cave near my house, so I buried them all in a bundle under the ivy. For years after, I tried to find that spot again, but the ivy grew too fast. I searched in so many spots, it seemed impossible that I had missed one, but I never found it. How can something be there and then not be there? How do we forgive ourselves for all of the things we did not become? Number 14. I never had the courage to buy bright green sheets. I wanted them, but thought they were too brash, even with no one but me to see them. I bought a set yesterday and put them on the bed. I knew that you would like them.